Hello everyone, this is Coach Botus coming to you from the third base coaching box here at Hamlin High School Field. I'm your head softball coach and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about our sports banquet or, or what our season could have, should have, would have been. First off, I want to I want to thank you girls for your dedication and commitment. Uh, getting up early in the morning, three days a week, come bust your tail in the weight room so you can come out here during the period after you get done running track. You know, it's you guys don't get enough credit for the hard work and commitment that you put in. And I know it's tough. I know it's tough. And, and and we appreciate everything that you do. Parents, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to coach your daughters for the way that I coach. And I appreciate all the hard work and commitment that, that you have getting them to and from practice, to and from games, and, and your hard work on the on the fence that we need, didn't even get a chance to uh, take a ground ball practice or hit the first home run over the fence. So that'll be something that we look forward to next year. I thought the season, as short as it was, was a very promising season. You know, I came in thinking it was going to be a rebuild year, but as soon as I got them on the field and got to throwing and hitting and, and talking and communicating, I, it was a year to make a run, not a year to, to rebuild. That's very exciting for a coach coming into a program that, that's had multiple coaches over the last few years to get that type of commitment and buy-in by kiddos and parents. I do appreciate that. I think the future is really, really bright for our softball program here at Hamlin. We are going to miss a group of, of four seniors, Abby Cooper, Shyla Henry, Harley Land, and Sydney McLean. Sydney came in this year. Uh, she was never varsity eligible uh, due to some circumstances, but she came in. She got a chance to play in some JV opportunities early in the year in scrimmage and, and some tournament play, and, and she provided a spark. And man, it was it's funny to see her hit the ball no matter where it was pitched she could put her bat on it she had great hand-eye coordination harley lamb was another one this is her first year playing here at, here at hamlin and man she was a hawk out in the outfield for us she was our 4-0 hitter she could hit the ball hard on the line uh she was fixing to have a really really promising year uh abby cooper had been a three-year varsity starter at, behind a dish and, and this year we made the move over to second base she ate it up she didn't say a word. She, she was going to do whatever it took for the team. And, and thank you, Abby. I appreciate that. And then Shyla Henry. Shyla, kiddo, I'm sorry, man, that the season ended the way it did for you. It, it stinks for all you ladies, you know, all athletes across the nation that, that your season got cut short. But it makes it really tough for kiddos that, that don't get a chance to participate because they've, they've been injured or hurt. We had we had quite a few of them. We had junior Caitlin Clausen, freshman Zoe Moore, and, and Jordan Parker. Both were out this season, didn't get a chance to play due to injuries, and, and I'm sorry. But you're going to be a tougher human being and, and a, a tougher competitor because of it, because you're going to know how to how the hard work and commitment it takes to get back to where you were. And, and it'll pay off in the long run. Really good group of kids coming back next year, and, and we look forward to it. Again, thank you for the opportunity to coach your kiddos and, and coaching this great community of Hamlin, and I look forward to seeing what we bring to the field next year.